Oh, this new lipstick shade really makes my look pop, doesn't it? Oh, jeez, my stuff is all over the place. I wonder if this jar can come in handy. Screw off the jar's lid and set the glass part aside. Take a little toy like this one and flip it onto its back. Take either hot glue or regular white glue and put some on the underside of all the toy's feet. Once you've done that, flip it over and stick it straight onto the jar lid. Make them uniform by spraying them with your favorite color paint. We chose a nice shade of blue. Once it's all dry, screw this stylish new lid onto the jar full of Q-tips. Or whatever else you want to put in there. Super fun, right? Ever accidentally lose a sock? It's gotta be in here somewhere. Aha! Looks like it got trapped in a blanket. Yep, perfect match. Gulp. Uh-oh. Blanket avalanche! Hey, did that pile of clothes just move? Oh no, is my kitty trapped under there? What? Not a cat, just Sophia. Yikes! The vacuum's sucking up the plastic bag! You thinking what I'm thinking? Wanna make your clothes more compact? Try vacuuming the air out of the bags they're in. Whoa, it's totally working! Once it's done, you'll have a shrunken bag perfect for storing in small spaces. There you go. Now you can fit double the clothes in half the space. Job well done, Sophia. Only one more touchdown and we'll win this game! Come on! Yes! I knew we could do it! Whoa, Kevin. Aren't you getting a little too carried away there? Oops. Did I do that? Looks like it's time to clean that up, don't you think? Oh man, I actually shattered that thing, didn't I? My mom's gonna kill me. There's gotta be something I can do to salvage this thing. Whoa! Alright, Kevin. Let's think outside the box here. Have anything around the house you can use to fix the clock? Oh, Kevin's brain is definitely buzzing! For this hack, you'll need a record and some dominoes. Take the ticker from the clock that holds the battery and stick it to the hole in the middle of the record. If you turn it a couple times, it should fit right in quite nicely. Take a small washer like this and put it over the hole on the other side to secure the battery. Next, screw on a metal nut. Now place the second hand from the clock on top of it. Now do the same thing with the minute hand. And finish it off with the ticking hand. To make the clock's numbers, put some hot glue on the corresponding dominoes. See? A 12 domino will serve as 12 on the clock. Keep going until you go through all the rest of the numbers. Hang that sucker up on the wall and you've got yourself a brand new clock. So, how does it look, Kevin? Wow, it looks even better than the clock that was there before! Hey! Why are you just standing there? Check out my latest creation! Pretty awesome, don't you think? Now that's the face of someone who just went on a shopping spree. So, what'd you get? Aren't these tennies just darling? They're perfect for school! And these adorable things are great for nights out with the girls. And they were on sale! Can you believe it? Yay! But neither of those pairs compare to the most beautiful shoes of all. Are you sure we're ready for this, Sophia? Introducing the gorgeous, one-of-a-kind, pink, satin-heeled shoes. They were the last pair in the store! Ugh, oh, everyone is going to be so jealous. I can't wait to wear them around town. Sophia? Look at all my beautiful shoes! Why did you buy so many shoes? Where on earth are you going to put them all? Sophia! What? I'll figure it out. Well, for one thing, don't throw out these boxes. They may come in handy. If you have a bunch of shoe boxes lying around and shoes to be put away, you'll love this hack. A shoe box lid and place it open side up. Then place the corresponding box upright inside of it like this. Once you place the shoes inside, start stacking the boxes on each other like so. Now you can see all your gorgeous footwear instead of cramming them into a dark closet. Well done, girls! Hmm, let's see. Where's that book Amy wanted to borrow? I swear it was here last I checked. 
Oh boy, Sophia's not gonna pull that book out, is she? Oh no, this is not going to end well. Don't do it! It's raining books, everybody! Oh, did I do that? Now I'm buried in books. Looks like there was an unfortunate casualty in this book avalanche. to be a way to fix him. Hmm. First, take the action figure's lower half and put hot glue along its edge. Stick his legs underneath the shelf like this. After putting glue on his top half, stick him on top of the same shelf. Go ahead and place your books against the action hero. Once it dries, of course. Now let's turn the page on this mess, shall we? Good thinking, Sophia. Whether it's your bedroom, kitchen, or bathroom, all your stuff has its place. Well, most of your stuff, anyway. Gah, where am I supposed to put this thing? Huh? Oh man, I stepped on all my mail. Gross. I wish I had a place to put these other than the floor. Oh shoot, I almost forgot my keys! Where did I even put them? Why does this happen every time? Kevin, watch out for that! Whoa! Well, when your stuff is everywhere, what did you expect, Kevin? Oh, look! There are your keys. Well, at least something good came out of that fall. Okay, I've gotta find a place to keep these. Looks like someone is getting a brilliant idea. Have an old tennis ball laying around? Turn it into a nifty holder. Using a blade, cut a small slit into the side of the ball, no more than an inch or so. Treating the slit like a mouth, place two googly eyes above it, making a face. Next, you'll need a hot glue gun and a suction cup. Put a glob of hot glue onto the plastic, but not too much. Before the glue dries, stick the plastic suction cup onto the back of the tennis ball. Hold it until it dries. Aw, he's so cute! Want to see how it works? Stick him on a mirror in your bathroom, a door frame, or just about anywhere. Hey, thanks for holding my towel, little guy. Ah, so much better. Now you'll never misplace your keys again. And as for your mail, let's just say they'll never be covered in dirt and footprints again. Aw, that's a good boy. Oh, man, mornings are rough. Ouch! Who left this guy on the floor? You can sit right here and watch me brush my teeth. Sound good? Oh no! Can anything go right this morning? Well, that's definitely broken. I wonder what I can keep my toothbrush in now. Wait a second… This dinosaur may be more useful than I thought. Put your toothbrush against the toy's chest, with the bristles just above his edge. Mark where it sits on the dinosaur's top and bottom. With a blade, cut through where you just marked. Be really careful where you place your fingers. You don't want to lose one. Once you've done it in both spots, stand the toy up on its legs. Grab your toothbrush and stick it right through where you just cut the blade. Now take the repurposed toy and stick it right onto your bathroom counter. Why, thanks for holding my toothbrush, little guy. My pleasure. All right, time to buckle down and study for that test next week. 20 minutes? Ugh, I totally forgot I made plans with Sophia! Step number one, shower. Hey, no peeking. Why isn't any water coming out? Look at all that mineral buildup. So gross. Now what am I gonna do? Hey, didn't Mrs. Appleby talk about vinegar working as a cleaning agent in chemistry class last week? Yep, she poured the vinegar into that beaker of… well, something. And it bubbled and stuff. Think that'll work today? To get rid of crusty calcium buildup on your shower head or faucet, just pour a plastic bag full with vinegar and secure it in place with some rubber bands. See? It's working already. After just five minutes, your shower head should be working as good as new. Ta-da! Ah, <sighs> nothing like a hot shower, am I right? Don't be too long, though. You've got plans, remember?